Hey guys, my name is Alex and thank you very much for stopping by. Really appreciate your visit. Today we're going to solve this a simple but powerful example using a race. This is the uh, with number 22, I think. And when it comes to solving this type of problems, you know, algorithms and uh, stretching your brain, a race is very, very handy because you have a lot of amazing problems. The ways that you manipulate the race, that you apply some functions, some methods, that's, you know, that's great when you're thinking about these type of problems. And because of that, we are solving another problem using a race. And the problem is very, very simple. So let's go straight to the point and you see that the problem is very, very simple. So the problem is, given an array, I want to reverse that array. Very simple, if you're coming from a computer science, probably you have done that many times. And uh, this is one of the common problems that you can solve with arrays because you deal with index, you deal with two arrays because the output of this problem is another new array with the reversed uh, numbers. And yeah, that's it. If uh, I think that the first step is I want to share with you the, the example, you know. So let's say that I have this array one and two and three and four and five. Amazing. And now what I want to do is the output that we're looking for is I want to reverse that, which means that instead of having one, two, three, four, and five, I'm going to have five and four and three and two and one. Pretty, pretty simple, you know, very, very simple just to deal with indexes and the position and that kind of stuff. And following the way, the pattern that we are following, you know, that I have been following in this series, uh, I want to solve this problem using a simple algorithm probably, but this would not be the best way to solve this problem. And this probably will be the ugliest way to solve this problem. And in the next video, uh, I'm gonna, probably I'm gonna uh, record two, one or two videos just to share more ways to do that. And when it comes to Ruby or actually when it comes to many different programming languages, uh, you have this kind of language like language way to solve this problem or you know any problem so if we're coming from haskell there is this haskell crazy mindset to do things if you're coming from a java or javascript you also have you know a specific way to solve problems not like haskell because haskell is a really opinionated language but uh, in ruby you have you know the kind of same thing the same mindset so the first thing that I want to do is, actually, I want to remember one thing first. Uh, actually, when you are talking about a race, you need to remember that the first element will be zero. You know, it starts at zero. You know, when you are manipulating a race, usually the first position is the position number zero. That's it. So that's a really important uh, point because the second position will be number one and the third position will be number uh, two and so on and so forth. Here we're going to have three and uh, four. And the way that you, that you discovered the last position, again, this is very common when you are manipulating a race, is that you take the last position or the, the last element and you actually you want to take the last but the last element and the last position will be the size of the ray minus one because it starts at zero right so in this case you have five elements five items in order to get the last element you're gonna take five minus one which in this case, of course, is four. And then this is the last position, okay? This is just a tip when you are uh, manipulating and uh, adding or removing elements in arrays, you always have to remember that you are starting at zero, okay? Now I want to remove these things. And the next step is I want to create this method that takes an array and I'm going to manipulate this array. So uh, the method will be called reversed 
or reverse in this case, and it takes an array as an argument. Perfect, let's close it out. And I want to call this method reverse, and let's create this local variable array with the example that we have here. So in this case, I'm gonna take one, two, three, four, and five. That's it, and the last uh, step is to pass this array as an argument. Perfect. Okay, inside of this uh, method, reverse method, the first thing that I want to do is I want to create the second array, you know, the output that will be returned from this method. So the array will be called reversed. Okay, really creative. Reversed, this is an array. And I want to take the last position because the algorithm here is so simple, but just to stress it enough, you're gonna take the last element and the last element will be the first element. And now four will be the second element and the three will be this third element and so on and so forth and two and one. So you're just reversing the array. Okay, the next step is I want to take the, the last position and I can do that by creating this local variable position and getting the array length minus one. That's it. So the length of this array is five minus one, four, because again, uh, array starts at uh, zero. Now I want to go through all of the elements in this array from five to one. If you want to go from uh, one number to another number through the array, you might want to use a while expression, a for loop expression, something that you can iterate over each element. Uh, and in this case, I want to use a while expression. You know, you can use other things. And while the position is greater than or zero, I don't know what's happening here. Uh, it's always, it always happened. Okay, uh, while position greater than or equal to zero, because this is the first element in my original array. And while the position is greater than or equal to zero, what I want to do is I want to take this element, the last element, because I already know that this position is the last element, at least the first element that we are manipulating here. And I want to take this last element and I want to add this element in this reversed uh, array. So I can just do that in Ruby by using this expression, by using this symbol. Or if you want, you can just use the push method. So feel free to choose the one that you like the most. And then the next step is I want to decrement because I'm starting at five. This is the last position and I want to five, I want to go from five to four and three to one, which in this case, I'm decrementing one each time that I iterate over the array. So in this case, the next step is position receives position minus one. So I go from five to four, to from four to three, three to one, one, uh, two, two, two to one. And that's it. If uh, I want to return this, I just use the return keyword and then the reverse array. Pretty, pretty example. If I execute this, so this was the last example. If I want to execute this, yes, it's working. So this is a very simple example. It just gets the, the, job, the, the, it just gets the job done. And uh, to be honest, I don't care about, you know, local variables or if this code is readable or not because we're gonna do that in the last, in the next uh, video. Because as I said before, you just need to get the job done first. Then you can iterate over the code and, uh, and try to understand if you can change a few things, if you can remove some local variables, just to get a little bit more readability. And last, you can think about using a Ruby way to do things or JavaScript way to do things or whatever language that you are using. Probably the last step, you know, by the end of the, your life, 
you will uh, think about performance and that kind of stuff. You know, of course, if you have benchmarks and if you really need to worry about these things, you need to you know uh, test all of the things in your software in your code. And yeah, that's it. This is a very simple example. I hope that you enjoyed it and see you in the next video. Please, if you have another ugly way to solve this problem, just drop your comment below with your ugly way to do these things. Please don't, don't, don't drop a beautiful way, functional way to do, uh, to solve this problem because, you know, we want to see ugly uh, code here, <laughs> at least in this specific video. So drop your comment below and uh, let's share your knowledge there. See you in the next video.